last and final thing on this list. Hey everyone, Amy here, and today I'm going to be telling you guys a few things that you guys should not do in order to preserve the planet. You guys know I'm a little bit obsessed with like the environment and stuff and like a few days ago gears in my brain just got to like turning and I like spit out so many different ideas for like cruelty free videos and preserve the planet videos and so I'm really excited to be filming a bunch of them and I really hope that you guys enjoy these videos too. I really want to just spread some information about how to keep us living on this planet longer and also to help out our little animal friends. I'm going to be spitting those out for a little bit, uh, depends on when I edit them. I I'm taking a break from makeup videos and I'm giving you some of those videos leaving out like some of the super obvious ones like take shorter showers and those kinds of ones that you've been told like ever since you were little or like in elementary school so I tried to make up a few more things that nobody knows you can tell me if I did a good job or not but these are things that you should not do and in the future I will definitely be posting videos with things that you should do so anyways without further ado let's get into the video so the first thing on our list that you should not do in order to preserve the planet is get acrylic nails acrylic is not plastic we don't call it plastic but it is a type of plastic called thermoplastic and thermoplastic I researched it a little bit and I went a little deeper and realized that it it is actually used for saving the environment preserving the planet in ways of fuel efficiency and a couple other things but as itself I would guess that acrylic nails are bad for the environment because I would guess that they are a plastic polymer which is obviously plastic and plastic is not good for the environment. We don't like plastic. <laughs> and I will be talking about plastic in a couple other tips in this video because obviously plastic is just not good for the environment. <laughs> I myself would love to get acrylic nails and I'm such a girly girl. I love fashion, hair, makeup, nails, but I just, if it's gonna hurt the environment, I'd rather just paint my nails. And of course, nail polishes can also be toxic to the environment and they can also not be cruelty free. But there are a couple nail polish brands that are cruelty free and are non-toxic. And hopefully I will talk about them in further in a video because there is one that I want to get. So maybe I will do a haul in the future with a non-toxic, cruelty free, safe for the environment nail polish but definitely won't be getting acrylic nails in the near future on to the next tip so the next thing on our list that you should not do to preserve the planet is to not throw everything in the trash so i know a lot of people get lazy including myself i am definitely guilty of this but we should really stop when we finish a soda, say like in a can or in a glass bottle or even in a plastic bottle, we like to throw it in the trash. So this is our trash can for cans right here. You can see some cans back down there, sorry. And this we just got for these bottles, which I'm about to put in it. Actually, this is basically with like everything, like especially banana peels and dirty napkins with food remnants on them. Uh, we definitely do this a lot. We as in like human beings. <laughs> we will eat a banana and then we will throw the peel in the trash when it's actually a lot better for the environment if you throw it in the compost. I know my family has a compost bin that we have one inside our house and we have one outside our house. And we just use these uh, compostable like trash bags and we throw all our food remnants like banana peels and like eggshells and stuff like that in it and then take it out to the big compost. And that really helps save the environment because you can also make it fertilizer because it can all biodegrade. Just make sure 
you are throwing something that belongs in the compost or recycling into the compost and recycling. Reduce, reuse, recycle and compost. So the next thing on our list, hello from the mirror shot. Sorry if you can't hear me very well. <laughs> But the next thing on our list is actually to not use sunscreens with oxybenzone in it. Try to stay away from oxybenzone in your sunscreens. I know it's still summer and it's blazing hot in California. So everybody wants to wear some SPF and wear sunscreen, but the more natural sunscreens do not have oxybenzone in it. So just try to stay away from those because I didn't even mention why. Because they hurt reefs, so uh, we're, probably, we're not going on vacation right now, but this is especially important to if you go on vacation to like a tropical island or something and you go snorkeling or scuba diving and you're wearing sunscreen, it will get in the water and hurt the reefs so bad. So I have two sunscreens here. One is from Alba Botanica and this is a spray sunscreen and it is free of oxybenzone, which is actually the stuff that hurts reefs uh, because as you just saw on the back, it says free of ingredients identified to have potential adverse impact to coral reefs, which is really nice. So highly recommend this brand. And this is Neutrogena and this is not free of oxybenzone zone uh so maybe that's just like a thing i'm not trying to come for neutrogena or anything but uh this is just one example that i had it's just so it's it's a much better option to use sunscreens without an oxybenzone so the next thing you can do is not to buy those big containers of stuff with these smaller containers of stuff in it that didn't make any sense. Just hang hang with me. Is that the phrase? What I mean by don't buy them in big containers with small containers in them. A great example is goldfish and I love goldfish. I am not trying to rip on goldfish right now. Love goldfish. But this is common in stores like Costco where they have the huge boxes of goldfish and in them they include little small packs of goldfish like the little tiny bags those kinds of things where it's like snack size you know like a lot of kids take it to school those things are also bad because you can easily just reuse reduce reuse recycle and get containers instead you can either get glass or, or reusable plastic containers you can get a huge box of goldfish still but without the little packages in it and you can just dump those into containers and then take them to school and stuff and also don't dump them into ziploc bags those are also horrible i'm pretty sure you probably know that but containers 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 are amazing reusable containers highly recommend don't get the little bags that are so wasteful that you just throw them away. Hi. So now on our list, we are moving on to don't use single use plastic. So single use plastic, obviously this one is a more obvious one. And single use plastic, if you don't know, is things like plastic water bottles those are the worst and there's also plastic bags are also horrible and also plastic straws we all know save the turtles <laughs> but there's more than plastic straws to single-use plastic but that is probably the best example because that's the example that everybody knows about try to stay away from these by using reusable water bottles reusable bags i did a whole video on ways to preserve the planet and simple things that you can do and in there i put use reusable straws and reusable bags and reusable water bottles those help so much got my hydro flask another thing that it helps is uh if you reuse water bottles and stuff like that then the manufacturing companies don't have to make as much which doesn't use as much fossil fuels and stuff like that that are burning a hole in the ozone layer and also global warming and all the things next 
By the way, uh, I forgot to mention while I was up there that if you do have to, like absolutely have to use single use plastic, like in this global pandemic that we are in, we are not allowed to use reusable cups at Starbucks right now and may not be able to bring our grocery bags to grocery stores. Just make sure, especially with water bottles, try to recycle it. Again, reduce, reuse, recycle and compost. Try your best not to. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already, if you are new to the channel. I would really appreciate it. We are almost at 100 subscribers, you guys. That would be so amazing. Triple digits, wow. But anyways, again, hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in my next video vlog, whatever. Bye!